This case began in 1982. There was a couple, a young couple, who was murdered in uh, the south side in Washington Park near a pool. And uh, soon after that, a man named Anthony Porter was arrested in their murder. And Anthony Porter went to trial and was convicted of the murder. Years later, Northwestern University students working with their professor were looking at cases they could investigate the potential innocence of murder suspects. And one of these people they started looking at was Anthony Porter. They uh, wound up going to Milwaukee and got a uh, videotape confession from another man admitting guilt in, the, in these murders. The state's attorney's office charged that man released Anthony Porter, and it became international news because Anthony Porter was on death row at the time, and it became one of the driving forces for Governor Ryan to create a moratorium on the death penalty. So years after Al Story Simon, the fellow who confessed to the murders, attorneys working for him post-conviction started making arguments that uh, he had ineffective counsel and that there was a lot of evidence still against Anthony Porter that was not considered at the time. So the news that we're breaking is that uh, the former head of criminal prosecutions under Dick Devine uh, back in 1999 provided an affidavit. He is claiming state's attorney Devine back then didn't do enough research uh, before he released Porter and charged Al Story Simon. So he's raising questions about the way the whole prosecution happened way back when. So the next step in this case is that the state's attorney's office will review all of the arguments on both sides, his attorney saying he should be released, and they will also um, look at the evidence uh, that was originally presented against Simon, and they're going to have to make a decision whether they keep him in prison or they move to have his conviction overturned. He is currently in prison until 2017. That's when he's eligible for parole. So even if uh, he is not released from prison now, he'll be out in three years.